These days, XML plays a big part in the storing and exchange of data. In this course, we'll explore SQL Server support for XML and how it's improved since being introduced over a decade ago in SQL Server 2000. We'll discuss SQL Server's native XML data type, how to declare it as a variable or table column, how it differs from other data types, and how to load data into it using select for XML and the open row set function. You'll learn the importance of indexing XML columns and that SQL Server supports multiple types of XML indexes, including primary, secondary, and the new selective XML index, included as part of SQL Server 2012 Service Pack 1. We'll talk about XML schemas, how they're used to validate XML documents. We'll talk about SQL Server's support for lax validation, how to register XML schemas, and associate them with XML columns for validation. To wrap up our discussion of XML schemas, we'll take a look at several catalog views available to you specifically for retrieving information about registered XML schemas. But storing XML data is only half the story. We also need to get the data back out, and here you'll learn how to query XML data. You'll learn how to use the XML data type's native XQuery methods, as well as an introduction to flower expressions. We'll finish our discussion of querying XML data by looking at how to return relational data as XML using the for XML statement, as well as how to shred XML into a more relational format using OpenXML. Finally, we'll wrap up with some best practices and points to consider when you're deciding if storing data as XML is an appropriate solution for your database application.